Um, real quick in the last video, I also forgot to tell you when you do lay a track with the, the live pigeon, uh, make sure the wind is at your back. So if the wind is out of the south, you're walking towards the north as you're touching that bird on the ground as you walk. Uh, and also, at that point, I like to have the dog um, so he's healing fairly well. Uh, after all my check cord work out in the field is done, uh, I'll take a few days, teach the dog to heal, and that way when I come to the test, I can heal him up to the test. And uh, uh, I think that, that keeps him a lot calmer than just letting him pull like crazy. Uh, the release, I think, is probably the most important part of this whole thing. Uh, you know, there was a school, there's a school of thought, you know, with AKC tracking and some of the other tracking that I did in the past, that you want to sweep your hand across the track um, to kind of indicate the direction of the track. Well, the problem with that is puppies, they're, uh, they're distracted by movement. And what catch, something catches their eye, a butterfly goes by, and boom, that's what their whole wor world is focused on. Uh, when you do that, and you bring your hand and you sweep across, the dog's watching your hand, and now his, hand, his, his head and his attention is following your hand up in the air. So what I like to do is just drop my hand down and just keep it there and not move it, and then let the pup engage from there. Uh, if you carry whistles, uh, keep in mind that uh, whistles dangling from your neck like this, it's going to grasp the pup's attention. So either keep them at the truck or tuck them in your shirt. Uh, the, the track, uh, you'll, you'll walk up, the judges will be here. Don't let the dog uh, go up and smell the pile of feathers while you're getting direction so that now you have to pull the dog back and correct them off the pile of feathers. Just keep them by your side. When you get ready to the track, you'll take the leash off, put your hand underneath, palm up the top of his collar, and you're about two feet from the pile of feathers here. Now, just step forward with your right foot you're going you're gonna to get the dog to focus on your hand. Right when he focuses on your hand, step forward and just lay your hand down on the pile of feathers. The dog's going to follow your hand down and then just keep it there. And you'll feel the dog will engage or you'll, you'll just tell that he's uh, um, uh, engaged with the pile of feathers. Once you feel that, just step up and bowl and just with your left leg, just step forward and just release the dog down the track. Uh, don't push the dog's head into the pile of feathers. If that dog follows your hand and he comes to right here and he's engaged, just let him go. Um, pushing his head into the pile of feathers is just going to create a ton of problems. He doesn't need to do that. Uh, uh, you know, one thing, it's really important, I think, to step forward with your right foot and come down like that. If you come like this, now you're off balance. Um, you can't control the dog. Uh, if the dog starts reeling up and spinning around and is kind of resisting you, even if you're in this position, just step back, turn the dog around, start over, and then just come right back in, get his attention, and then release him on the track. Uh, I think uh, that's the most important thing. Get away from this, the sweeping of the hand down the track. And uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, like all my kids, they've, when they test um, in a natural ability test, I have them just practice stepping forward without a dog and just getting used to doing this motion here and acting like they're releasing the dog.